It's the lighthouse at the end of the world, and Jose Aguayo is its keeper. With his family, he has been living for a few months in this inhospitable environment, constantly battered by winds that reach up to 100 kilometers per hour. Aguayo has volunteered to spend a year on the island and holds the symbolic title of mayor of the Sea of Cape Horn, though the only other residents here are his wife and two children, and the only two buildings are the lighthouse and a chapel. The kids motivated me to come because they wanted to be with their dad at home, and with my job as a sailor, I'm at sea a lot. Vicente is 11, and I've been sailing for 10 years, so what better way to be with them than to come here? The family receives supplies from the army and has a phone and internet access. Jose and his wife take turns completing surveillance tasks and sending weather bulletins every three hours. The kids are homeschooled, and their main source of entertainment is the television. But Jose says the solitude doesn't weigh on them. It's an unusual post in the sense that there's a lot of traffic control and a lot of visitors during the summer. But we're doing well. So far we've had 4,000 visitors to the island and people ask me how I can still be smiling. The task will, no doubt, become more difficult as winter sets in in the southern hemisphere and even fewer visitors arrive. But Jose Aguayo hopes to still be smiling at the end of his year-long tenure as mayor of Ornos Island.